kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this, this will be the part three of my video series on OpenStreetMap using the Kotlin language in Android Studio. All right, guys. So, in this video, we will create a simple uh, activity and uh, or a simple screen that will display the, the map, and then we will add a marker to that map, and then we will be able to see the uh, location onto the map. Okay, so this will be a basic application. So let's get started. All right, guys. So in our previous part, as you guys can see that I already have created the activities as well as I had integrated the 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 SDK into our application so now we just need to go to our this simple location activity and here we will start working on that all right so first of all we have to go to our uh, XML the uh, XML file and instead of this constant layout let me write a relative layout and then all right and here we are going to use a map view object so here you guys can see we have this map view we will set the width and height as match parent and we only need to set the id so we set the id of it as map view simple lock all right so now we have to go to our simple location activity class and in here we first of all have to initialize it so we will do like this private variable map view all right and after that okay so another feature which we are going to add is we have to use the toggle button that will open the satellite view of this app of this map all right so in here we can have a button so let me go back to my xml and in here we will uh, add a button so for that we can say button wrap content the height also it to be right wrap the content then we set the id we will set the id as button toggle and we will set the text as satellite all right and let me make sure that if this map view is below this button so here we can say like below button toggle all right so now this uh map view will be below this button all right so now we also have to initialize that button so for that let me write private variable similarly we will just uh, bind the view bind the view so here first of all we will bind the map view as find view by id and similarly for the button so we can say button toggle all right but here you guys can see that i have an error so we just need to uh, clean the pr the project then then this error will be gone all right so now we have to use the set on click listener so, but before that let's me write the code to display the map view or we need to initialize uh, this uh, map view so in order to initialize the map view first of all it has some uh, basic properties so basically we can uh, set a source okay and then we can also set the multi touch controls there are there are, are multiple options all right then we will use the geo point class to specify the point onto the map for the for example in the view uh, for example uh, latitude and the longitude all right and then we can also set uh, use the controller to set the zoom in and zoom out and also the uh, to set it to the center all right so before uh, wasting any time let me just go to our uh, and write a code initialize or 
create map all right so here we will create a function that will be private fun create map and inside that function first of all we have to specify the source of this map view so here we can say map view dot set source style sorry set tile source and we have to use the tile source factory class dot the map nick okay and this is the default uh, tile source from where we can display the map all right and similarly now we can also say map view dot set multi touch controls and we have to enable it so that the user is able to zoom in and zoom out using his fingers all right so now we need to specify a point of marker okay so basically we need to uh, add the marker to that location so for that let me write for example value start point equal to we have to use a geo point class and inside that we have to pass on to uh, two things first one is the latitude and the second one is the longitude so here we can say let me write something and then we have the longitude all right so this is our starting point and okay so and another thing which we ha i had forgotten to do was we need to set the zoom so for that let me write map view dot controller dot set zoom and sorry and here we can specify a zoom the parameter so we can say 15.0 and then we can say map view dot controller dot set center and we need to set it to the center so here we have to provide the geo point okay so with this thing we can do that uh, after this line so here inside that uh, this set center we need to specify a point so here we are uh, providing it the start point all right now we need to just uh, display the marker to that location so in order to display a marker we can first of all we have to initialize the marker so we can say variable start marker equal to marker and inside that we have to pass on our view so in this case we have the map view so yes we have successfully let me just write all right and then we can set uh, the position of that marker so for that we can say start marker dot set position uh, position or we can simply say start marker dot position and it will be equal to start marker or sorry we can say uh, start point all right and then we can also set the the title so we can say start marker dot title and the title will be current location and then we can also have a sub description so we can say start marker dot sub description equal to this is current location marker all right and then we can also set the anchor but i think we don't need that so now we only need to add it so in order to add it this we can say map view dot overlays dot add okay so inside that we can uh, pass on our uh, the marker so here we can say start marker all right so that was it for now we just uh, you we just uh, initialized or uh, designed our XML then we binded the views the both uh, the buttons and then we just use the map view classes and then we uh, we we added a marker so 
that was very simple okay so now what we uh, can do another thing is we can now use the set on click a, a listener so that the user is able to switch between this current uh, source and the satellite source so basically the user if user wants to display the satellite view so he can simply do that so let me do that for you all right so here we can say button toggle dot set on click listener and inside that let me just use all right so here first of all we have to use a variable and that will be the satellite so here we can say private variable is satellite equal to false all right first of all we need to have it default like the false and then here we can check if is satellite sorry all right so we can just say map view dot set tile source and inside that we can use the normal map so for that we can say tile source factory dot map nick and we can say button toggle dot set text and inside that we can say satellite view and inst instead of else uh, we can simply say map view dot set tile source and inside this we can say tile source fact dot usgs underscore satellite all right and similarly for the button toggle we can simply say dot set text and we can say normal view all right so now whenever the user will click on that button he can switch between the satellite view and the normal view all right guys so i think that is enough for this video let me write the write down in the comment section if you have any questions so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye